Hi everyone, this is Toyba from Toy Slab Creations. Today we are going to be making this lovely skirt. You can see the kind of shape that it has. You can see the edging detail. So this size for a size two years, two years doodler. I'm going to be making for a size zero to six months in this tutorial. If you like to make it in bigger sizes, it is available in my rubber and Etsy store up to size two extra large. If you would like to make it for sizes that are bigger than that the pattern is easily you can easily change you can easily increase for bigger sizes so without further ado let's get started so i'm using a kind of thin yarn so i'm going to be doubling it you can use any medium weight yarn of your choice light roasted weight sports weight yarn so i'll make a slip knot then i'll chain 29 you're making a size zero to six months so i'll chain 29 so go ahead and chain 29 i'll come back when i'm done with mine so i've chained 29 so i'm going to mark the 11th chain from the hook so let's count one let me drop the hook one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven so i'll put a stitch marker in that So then I'll yarn over and make a double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Make a double crochet and make a double crochet in each chain till we get to the marked chain. So in the marked chain, I'm going to do my stitch marker now. Into this marked chain, I'm going to make a double crochet, chain one and a, and a double crochet. All in the same space. So for the remaining stitch chains of the row, I'm going to make one double crochet across so continue making one double crochet in each chain for the rest of the row i will join you at the end of the row i've gotten to the end of the row so for row two now i will chain two turn my work then make double crochet two together so i'm going to the first stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two Yarn over, go into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through all three. So then I'll continue with a double crochet in each stitch till I get to the this point to the chain one space. So I'll continue making one double crochet in each stitch across. So continue I'll join when I get to that point. So I've gotten to the chain one space. So into this chain one space now I'm going to make one double crochet into the chain one space. One double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet into the same space. Into the same space. So then I'll continue with one double crochet in each stitch on the other side till um till i have two stitches left five 
four, five, six, seven. So I have two stitches left. Now I'm going to finish it with a double crochet two together. So the double crochet two together enables this to have a straight edge and I keep increasing at the middle. So I increase at the middle and then I decrease at the edges. So I'm going to repeat row two one more time for row three. Row three is the same thing as row two. So just chain two, turn, then double crochet two together. Then make one double crochet in each stitch up to the chain one space. I call it the pick point. Once we get to the chain one space, we we'll make double crochet, chain one, double crochet into that space. Then we continue on the other side. I make one double crochet in each stitch across till we get to the last two stitches where we do double crochet together. So I'm at the chain one space again. I'll make double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Then I'll make one double crochet in each stitch on this side till I get to the last two, two, two stitches where I make double crochet together. So continue, I'll join you at the end of this row. So I'm about to finish row three now. I'll make double crochet together to the last two stitches. This kind of give the, the project a straight edge. So next I'm going to chain two, turn, then double crochet two together again. Then I'll make fillet stitches now. I'll chain one, skip one stitch, make a double crochet into the next one. Then chain one again, skip the next stitch, make a double crochet into the next one. So I'll keep repeating this so I get to the chain one space. So chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. So you get to the peak points. When you get there, I will join you. So I'm, I'm almost at the chain one point. I have one stitch before that point. And you can see I have a double crochet here. So I'm going to chain one. Then go right into the chain one space and make... Double crochet, chain one and double crochet. Then I will chain one, then skip the first stitch on this end. Then go into the next one and make a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, then we, we, we chain one, skip one. We have two stitches left, so just double crochet two together on this end. So the next row is row five. So I'm going to chain two for row five now, chain two, turn, make a double crochet two together. Go into the first, make a double, do not finish it. Then go into the chain one space here and finish double crochet two together. Then make a double crochet in each stitch to get to the peak point, so you chain one space in the here. Chain one space at this point. 
So, make a double crochet. In every double crochet and in the chain one spaces that we made from the previous row. So make a double crochet in each one up till we get to that point. Double crochet into the double crochet. Double crochet into the chain one space. Double crochet into this. And then we add the chain one space. Then we make one double crochet. Chain one. One double crochet. Then we continue chain one um, double crochet in each double crochet from the previous row and chain one spaces till we get to the end of the row and we'll finish the row with double crochet two together. So continue. I will join you at the end of the row. I'm about to finish row five now. So I will go into the chain one space, start the double to not finish it, then go into the next and the final stitch of the previous row and finish double crochet two together so ends for are going to be alternating the fillet row and the row of double crochet so next i'm going to make a fillet row after that a double crochet row we keep repeating that until we get to row 34 so we are doing a row of fillets now we start with the double crochet two together Then we chain one, skip one, skip this, and then into the next one, a double crochet. Then we ch chain one, skip one, and into the next one, another double crochet. So we keep doing this to so get to the to the peak point, the chain one space in the middle here. Yeah, then make one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Then we continue like we normally would to the end finish the double crochet two together then into the neck the next row chain two double crochet two together make one double crochet in each stitch do the increase here double crochet chain one double crochet and make double crochet in each stitch across until the end point where we do double crochet two together so we just keep repeating the row of the fillet and the row of double crochet till we get to row 34 so I'll keep doing mine on this end until I get to row 34 and I will join you when I'm at, at row 34. So I have made it up to 30, row 34. You can see row 34 is a fillet row. So you can see that at the beginning of the project, it has started with three rows of double crochet before we started the fillet and double crochet alternations. So I'm going to do double crochet row now. I'm going to do three rows of double crochet. So row 35, 6, and 7 will just be double crochet rows. So I'll chain to turn, double crochet two together. Then double crochet in each stitch till I get to the peak point. So I'm at the big points now, so I'll go into the chain one space there and make double crochet, chain one, and double crochet, all in the same space. Then I'll continue with my double crochet in each stitch across. So, and then I'll finish the row with a double crochet two together. So go ahead and do this for row 35, 36, and 37. I'll join at the end of row 37. So I have finished row... 37 now so this is what our project looks like so far so i'll just place it like this so you can see that it's beginning to look like this so the next thing to do this will be the upper part of our 
skirt. You can see that this is this place is longer and space is short, so this will be the upper part. And we're going to do our hedging here. So for the upper part of the skirt, we are going to place the first two rows. We are going to place like this first two rows and this the last two rows. I'm going to place it over. I'm going to place it like this. Then I will insert my hook here. Then make a slip knot. chain to through both of them so it's like I'm sewing them together so then I'll make two double crochets on the side of of each row this row this one row and this is the second row I'll do two double crochet on the side of each row so this is the first one then I'm going to stop this again and make another double crochet then I'll continue into the next double into the side of the next double I'll make sure that it's, uh, it's connected to the uh, the one at the back then I'll make another double crochet through boots then second double crochet so I'll continue on the side of each of these i'm going to make two double crochets so at the end of this row i should have 70 double crochets so continue making one double on the side of each row i will join you and i'm sure it's mine so I have gone around with double crochet in the side of each row. So I have 70 double crochet so far. So I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch and finish that round. Then chain two to start the second round and make a front post double crochet around the first post of the first stitch. Then a back post double crochet around the next post of the next stitch so i just keep alternating front post and back post double crochets all the way around then i'll i'll slip stitch to the beginning stitch to finish the round so continue doing front post and back post double crochet around the post of the double crochets from the previous row i will join you when i'm done with mine so i'm about to complete um round two so i'll slip stitch into the first stitch and finish up the round so i'll just repeat row two one more time chain two to start then make your front post double crochet and the back post double crochet and keep repeating around this is our last row of the waistband so just continue doing front post and back post double crochets and then the slip stitch to complete the round at the end so i will join you when i'm through with my waistband so this is what our skirt looks like so far i'm through with the waistband now so the remaining thing to do now the next thing to do now is the etching so it's my right side because this is the right side of our skirt so i'm going to start the edging on the right side of our skirt then i'll go i will insert on the side on the side of each row like you did on for the waistband i'm going to insert my hook here and attach the slip knot attach my own the slip knot I'll chain one then make three single crochets on this side you know so one I'm going to mark that two and three then on the side of each 
each row on the, from our work on the side of each row, I'm going to be making two single crochets. So it's just that first one that we made three. Every other one is two single crochet all the way across until we get to the last the last one here. We are going to repeat three single crochet on the side. So just keep doing start the first one with, the, with three single crochet and two single crochet on each side to get to the last one where we repeat three. So that's the first row of our edging. I will join you when I'm through with mine. So I've done single crochet around and I've made three single crochet into the last and um, the side of the last row here. So the next thing for the second row and the final row of the edging is chain two turn double crochet in the same stitch then slip stitch in the next stitch then double crochet in the next slip stitch in the next so just keep alternating double crochet and slip stitch all the way around so the last stitch will be a slip stitch so continue doing continue doing double crochet in one stitch and um slip stitch in the next all the way around and once you get to the end we just chain one and cut our yarn so go ahead and do us while i finish it mine so i've finished the edging and I, I have cut off my yarn. You can see what is, it looks like on the right side. This right side. Then I made a chain of 130 chains. You can make the um, chain as long as you want. Or you can just use ribbon. Then I passed it, passed it through the waistband. Then I made the bow with it. So the last thing to do for this project now. As you can see from the one that I showed you before. Is to add our button. And you can see from here that I added the button. Let me put, you can see I read the position on this end. Then at the pick point here, the second row of the pick point here, and the first row here, you can see the first row here is where I attached my button, but I'm inserting it into the second row here. So I'll attach the button at the pick point on this place and insert it through the the pick point on the second row on this end. Then I'll make the other button at any interval that I like. So you just go ahead and do your button here at this big point here. Then pull and um, pass it through the hole on the second row here. And then you can make the other buttons at any interval that you want. I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, share my video, comment. I hope you see my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.